this is where I would really like some help. <laughs> okay, sure. Because it's hard to know what to play there because Thunder Cash yeah. that I found like at Aria was like a dollar denom, and I'm like, that's yeah. too rich for me. Oh, hold on. I am so that's... sorry. No, that's all right. My we can edit that out. Don't worry about it. I bet my son took a shower. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, welcome back to the next uh, Gambler Audit. Today we have Liz today. Liz, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Uh, doing great. Thanks so much for joining. And just so you guys know what this is all about, is uh, we are talking to people that are fellow gamblers, just as yourself. You're probably watching this because you've either gambled in the past, maybe you're thinking about getting into it, um, or you just have just some general uh, ideas on what you want to do and how to attack it. And we like to learn from everybody else out there because everybody handles going to the casino differently and everybody struggles with different kinds of things. And it's important that we all kind of get together as a community and figure this stuff out. So uh, we hope that somebody out there will relate to Liz and how she handles herself in the casino. And then we'll also get to some questions uh, that we'll ask her about how, how it's going, uh, where she gambles, that kind of thing. And uh, just try to dive in a little bit deep. So uh, disclaimer out of the way, I got to start doing this. I keep forgetting to do the disclaimers. There is no guaranteed way to win at slot machines or gambling. Uh, this is not a uh, type of channel where we're just going to give you the magical instructions on how to win in a slot machine. That's not what we're about because we know how these things work. And we use that knowledge to help instruct you on things that you do have control over. And that's what this is all about. So if you do take this advice and you go to the casino, just remember it's still gambling at the end of the day. We don't want to see anybody get hurt. Ultimately, it's up to you to practice uh uh, best practices and and come out ahead in the casino. So I uh, just want to get that disclaimer out of the way. We don't want to get anybody in trouble. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Liz, tell us a little bit about yourself and where you're from. Um, well, I'm from Texas, born and bred, one of the few who are around now, I think. <laughs> um, I've lived in the, the Dallas-Fort Worth area pretty much all my life. And um, I go to Windstar. Um, I've only been three, th well, four times, but three times in the past couple of years. And I've gone to Vegas a few times. I do, I, I am old enough to remember uh, all the coins and the coin buckets um, and how I used to be able to make uh, $20 in nickels last for a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> Those days are gone, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, unfortunately, it, it was much yeah. easier when you could feed you could feed the uh, coins in, and then unless I mean unless I just got my bet back every time I won, I cashed out and it went in, it went down in the bottom, and then I played through clang, my clang, bucket clang, that clang, way. Clang. Yep, yeah, and played through my bucket that way, pulled everything back into my bucket and went some more. I you could go four yeah. hours on twenty bucks. Oh yeah, yeah, it was so much slower back then too because you had to the process of putting the money in and the cashing out, waiting for the coins to drop and then carrying the bucket around dirty fingers. Like yeah. I miss those days. Uh, those, those were, now I was on the tail end of that, uh, you know, <laughs> but I did remember uh, being an MGM grand for a little while and they had uh, several banks of the coin machines and I just absolutely love playing those. So, you know, maybe someday some casino will bring them all back for us to be able to experience that again, but they like us to play fast and heavy. And so yes, that's do. not going to happen, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> it is. Um, I know. I so remember. How often... I, oh, I was just going to say, I remember my mom. Um, my mom and I went on a trip to Vegas and we were at Caesars, I think. And she hit mm. a triple seven. And she just goes, oh, wow. what do I do? I said, cash <laughs> out. That's steak dinner tonight. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I'm glad you said that and don't, oh, well, you got to keep playing. You got to get it again. Yeah, no, it was, <laughs> it was like a hundred. I think that's what a lot of us fall into, that. right? Even myself, yeah. as you know. <laughs> so, yes, and I um, want to say thank you. Thank you for, for, for bringing that, you know, for doing that episode. I thought it was, I thought it was really important and it was really good. Oh, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, I, that was probably the first thing that came out of my uh, talk with myself in the hotel room is that. I got to go public with this because 
I need people to understand that even the strongest of us that teach this stuff or know all the best practices and most of the time follow all those, uh, even we can succumb to the weakness. And it's, you know, I, I was like, I have to admit to myself and everybody else that this can happen to the best of us. And I'm no expert. I'm not saying I am, but I'm still human and I still love to gamble. And those of us that are human and love to gamble are going to encounter this at some point. And if you don't, then you're probably not being, you know, real or honest with yourself because I think a lot of people have gone through this type of thing. So I really do appreciate that. Um, I wasn't doing it for views or clicks or anything like that. I just think it's important that people see that even the experts that teach this stuff and have a YouTube channel about all of this stuff <laughs> still can follow, fall into the trap. You know, it, it can oh, happen sure. to any of us. Yeah, Absolutely. definitely. So um, you said you go to Windstar. How often do you go up there? In the past two years, I've been three times. I kind of, okay. I, I went a good 20 years without gambling. Um, you know, I went to Vegas three times about 20 years ago. I went to Windstar back when it was still a tent, um, mm, yep. like once, and then didn't go for like the longest time. And so, um, not this not this past. Well, in 2022, for my birthday, I went with my my daughter and her boyfriend to Windstar, and I mean, had fun. Lost completely, <laughs> but had well, we fun. We will definitely talk about that. <laughs> Um, but had, you know, I had a good time. Yes, I did go to the ATM, but only for $40. No. Cause I think I only brought $40 with me. So oh, okay. it wasn't like something yeah. crazy, but you know, I mean, like I said, I hadn't been in forever. I'd never played on one of the, you know, cat, you know, the non coin machines. So it was mm -hmm. all kind of weird. Um, but, um, but yeah, so, and then, um, so then I took my daughter for her first trip to Vegas in February, and then we went back to Vegas for my, um, 50th birthday in October and really we had fun, fun both birthday. times. Um, the February trip, I came back, I was a winner. I won $1. I was, I, I <laughs> hey, <laughs> that counts. I it even does. say breaking even means you're a winner, you know? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, but yeah, the money I took to gamble with, I came back with one extra dollar. I was like, yay me. <laughs> <laughs> that's that. That's a good accomplishment. And 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 for everybody out there, like, uh, I mean, we, we're already learning that her budget is very low, which is great. You know, everybody has their own limits that they play with. But, you know, imagine that your budget was a thousand dollars and you came back a hundred dollars up. It's kind of the same oh, scenario yeah. here. And so anytime you can come back up or like I say, even, and I had a good time in entertainment and everything, you know, you're coming back a winner for sure. So that's great. Yeah, definitely. Um, and the best trip that I had was at Windstar, which was in August or September. I think it was August, late August. So it was before our October trip to Vegas. Okay. I came out of there and I had been watching you and Brantley. <laughs> okay. I came out of there starting out with, I think $75 in free play. And I, I, and I did take money with me and I did put a little bit of my money in, but I basically turned that free play into, I sure it was more at some point, but what I walked out of there with was $675. Whoa. Yes. Wow. I had that is a great conversion on free play. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> well, I took the well, it wasn't all on the free play. I was there oh, for gotcha. a while okay. that day. But I So how much know, how much money did you bring in addition to the free play? Did I I brought 300 total dollars, but that 300 total dollars did not hit the machine. Only okay. like I put 100 in during the, you know, when it was getting close to the free play being gone. Okay. But then before I really hit that hundred, I got a bonus on Thunder Cash. Oh, so that okay. basically put me up like to where I had like 200 in the machine. So what I did was I took the ticket, took my hundred bucks out and then played with that hundred and played with that. I got like a 
four hundred and ten dollar hit on um on top dollar. Oh wow! Pinball, I, pinball kind of did me dirty. I really wasn't fun. <laughs> yeah. pinball. Um, it happens on that one. I I gotta say, one of Jody's games that she likes to play. Well, it's a uh, um oh it's the rich a, and wild. Yes. Yes, I got like two or three bonuses on that. Um, basically, everything I played, I got like some sort of bonus or whatever. I think probably at my highest, I was probably up maybe as much as a thousand, but I don't think it ever got quite that high. I think it was maybe 800. But my daughter and her boyfriend and his family ended up, we had kind of all ended up meeting up. It was It was an unintentional thing. I just went because I had the day off and decided I had $75 in free play. So I'm going to go play it. Um, you know, completely thinking I was going to, I was going to get rinsed. That's, that's exactly <laughs> right. what I thought was going to happen. I was going to get rinsed and it would be fine. But I, I did take breaks. I did walk around the casino a lot. Um, I got in a lot of steps that day. So it was good. <laughs> it's um, easy to do at Windstar. Oh, for sure. For yeah. sure. Lots and, you know, kind of was like, I, I was looking for a, a, like an old, I guess an older version of top dollar that I guess isn't there. Um, no, which they don't kind of stinks, but that's okay. It was fine. Yeah. Um, but I played, let's see here. I played thunder cash. I played um, rich and wild. I played, I did play dancing drums and couldn't get a. I, I may have gotten one bonus, but it wasn't great. And it was fine. Um, yeah. you know, top dollar. Uh, but there's this one, there's this one machine at, 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 um, Windstar, this one thunder cash machine that's like right there. When you walk in at the main entrance, the globe entrance, there's that whole bank, like right in front of that bar. And there's a whole bunch of, um, Oh, I know exactly where you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. that thunder cash machine that was like right there. I was like, I want that progressive. I didn't get it, but I wanted it, <laughs> but I didn't yeah. chase it, chase it. So, but I did play that machine a couple of times and I played another machine there. Um, but anyway, that was okay. like, that was like the best, the best time. And I'm like, okay, well I have a bankroll now for Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. So I did take, uh, I think another 300 to Vegas but I kept, okay. I kept that 675. I kept the 300 that I'd already taken out and I kept it separate. And I'm like, okay, this is Vegas money. Right. And yeah. That's smart. So then we went to Vegas and okay, this is where I would really like some help. Okay. <laughs> because sure. Because it's hard to know what to play there because Thunder Cash yeah. that I found like at Aria was like a dollar denom. And I'm like, that's yeah. too rich for me. Yes. Yeah. I was taking. And we were there for four, well, four days, uh, five days, four nights. So, um, and I, I did not, you know, I didn't take everything with me or anything like that. I'd have like a hundred, maybe $200 with me to, to, to gamble with as we went different places. Cause we did, you know, other stuff too. Um, yeah. you know, it was my son's first trip to Vegas and, you know, oh, and, fun. and it was just, so yeah, so it was fun. And, um, yeah, it was, he actually surprised me. He put some of his money in a um, in a slot machine, and I never thought I would see the day. He made t twenty bucks last for you know like ten minutes. I was like, "Hey, wait to go!" <laughs> you yeah, know? no, that's good, especially in Vegas. Um, oh yeah, for sure. But we we well, we played all in, over. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. You're you're good. You're good. And guys, we had just a slight delay, so just bear with us. Um, so let's let's jump into your question real quick um, that you needed some help with what to do in Vegas. And I think this is a really good topic for people. Um, I would say if you're staying on the strip, having anything less than five hundred dollars in your budget is going to be really difficult to find those machines that you should be playing. And you probably experienced it th uh, there. It's Las Vegas Strip. Uh, the denominations are going up. And the volatility of the games that they have there are also going up. They're replacing all the older uh, low volatility games and the quarter machines, the 50 cent machines with the dollar, five dollar, ten dollars. And literally all the ones that we like to play, like the Thunder Cash, um, the old school pinball, old school top dollar, double top dollar, they are all in the high limit rooms um, on the strip. And so we're trying to stay out of there, especially with the budget of five hundred dollars or less. So mm -hmm. 
my recommendation, and I've been really saying this a lot, and I really want people to pay attention. If you want to stay on the Las Vegas Strip, that is great. But if you're going to gamble and you have less than $500 as your budget, I highly recommend going downtown uh, to uh, Four Queens. You probably heard me talk at nausea about <laughs> Four Queens, but I'm very serious. If you're looking for um, quarter machines that have the ones that we talk about, double diamond, five line, double diamond, triple stars, triple diamond, uh, red, white, and blue sevens, sizzling sevens. Uh, they have the cool uh, silver strike ones where you get the actual commemorative coins there. Um, if your budget is $500 or less, that's where you should be going to play. Um, still, you can stay on the strip, enjoy the, the crazy expensive <laughs> food and everything else there. Um, but if you're going to gamble, um, take a cab ride and it's not expensive. Um, maybe less than 10 bucks to get down uh, to Fremont Street from the strip. Um, it's very quick. It's definitely worth going out of your way. Try to try to resist the temptation to play where you're staying if you're on the strip. That's just it's unfortunate, but that is the state of affairs right now with the Las Vegas Strip. There are a little bit of exceptions. You might be able to find a little machine here and there, like um, Mandalay Bay still has dollar, two coin, double top dollars there. There's only two left now. They used to have six. Um, and it's just, this is the trend, right? This is where it's going. Um, and they can get away with it because the people that are coming to the strip, they're tourists. Um, they usually have a lot of money to pay for those hotel rooms with the crazy, um, you know, what, what do they call it? The fee on top of it, resort fee, the resort and all fee. that other mm -hmm. stuff. I mean, it's a $25 room, but a $39 resort fee. Where does that make sense? Um, so everything is just going up on the strip. So, um, I understand a lot of people don't like to stay on Fremont street. I, I would hesitate to say that's a bad thing. I think they're, especially if you stay at a place like Circa down there, it's a newer place. Um, it's very clean. Yeah, when we were, when we were there in February, some friends of ours were there also, and they stayed at Circa and it was really nice, man. They had one of those rooms that had the, the view of the pool with the big, huge, gigantic viewing wall that's outside. That oh, was wow. That was pretty neat. So, okay. so yeah, I mean, I could, I could see that. It, it's just when I'm going, I do have two trips. At least I have hotel rooms scheduled. I don't know if we'll end up completely doing the trips. I'm hoping so. But one in um, at the end of April and one okay. in um, October again, like for my birthday. Um, okay. But both, both of the, both of the rooms that I'm getting, and I've gotten getting one at Park MGM that's four okay. nights comp with Good. $40 free play and I think $50 resort credit. Okay. And um, I just have to pay the resort fees because I'm not that level. I, I'm still, I'm still lowly on the park on the MGM. <laughs> scale. Don't try to chase that just to save on the resort fees. It's not worth it. <laughs> and then um, in October, I have three nights comped at Vidara and I do oh. have to pay for one night. And then okay. again, I don't know if I get the forty dollars in free play then, but I think I do still get the fifty dollar, um, you know, food and beverage credit. And then okay. I have to pay the resort fees. Gotcha. So those gotcha. The, so, those were that's the best offer that I've seen for MGM, at least that's come through, you know, my stuff. I do get stuff. Okay, and I do kind of regret this because it's when okay. we went in February, I stayed at the link. And I really didn't pay attention, but apparently I'm really close to getting up to the next level with Caesars. I'm not going to be. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I had like 4,300 or something credits with Caesars. And then, you know, I, you and Brantley were like, you know, yeah, Caesars stuff ain't that great. So I kind of yeah. switched my loyalty to MGM, but I kind of regret yeah. that I didn't go ahead and get the Honestly, Caesars thing. But it's okay. <laughs> I'll honestly, live. yeah. I, <laughs> honestly, where I was about to go is that unfortunately MGM is starting its down downward trend, and you probably heard us talk about this too, especially Dave and I. Um, they they got a little overzealous with the amount of free play and offers and everything that they were given out, um, and a lot of people are associating with the big hack that happened, you know, uh, earlier this year or this summer, I guess it was. A lot of people are associating with that, but not necessarily 
it, it, I think if it was anything, a trend they that they were it trying as an to get excuse to reset. Yeah, exactly. Just like the pandemic, there's a lot of reasons to, you know, I can't even go to a restaurant now and get mints on the way out the door because of the pandemic. It's like, you know, it's like everybody just uses it. I'm not going to get into it because then we'll get demonetized and everything else when I talk about COVID. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back on track. Um, no, but I honestly, I think at this point and especially at the beginning of the year, MGM is going to kind of be on par with what Caesars gives away. Um, but maybe something to consider is when you do go out there, um, uh, you said in April, right? End of April. Mm -hmm. So when you go out in the end of April, um, go down, go downtown and either pick, walk through all the, like the, the ones right there on Fremont street, start with four Queens. Um, there's like Binion's is there circa of course mm -hmm. is down there and all that kind of stuff. Um, and try to do a lot of play there if you can. Make sure you obviously sign up for the player's card and use it while you're there. Um, and see what you get down there. You might be surprised. Um, you might be able to get suites down there without resort fees and stuff like that. Um, I just think, honestly, at, at your level, my recommendation, and you do what you want, but my recommendation would be to stay and play on Fremont Street. And then if you want to go to, to the Strip, you know, make that your destination away from your hotel and where you play. Uh, because I think you're going to have a big challenge trying to find the games that are at your comfort level that you want to play on, on the Las Vegas trip. It's just becoming too complicated. And I'd hate to see you put all of your money just trying to maintain statuses at those big properties unless you're able to up your bankroll. And of course, we don't want that unless you're comfortable with doing it. Um, so I think it's a good idea. Maybe just go down there and check it out. Four Queens is, it's an older hotel. Um, but people have said it's really nice. It's kind of a old, if you, you, you mentioned earlier that you like that old feel of Vegas. Um, yeah. I, I didn't even ask you, have you ever been to Fremont street or yes. I mean, you said you went I, to Circa? Yeah, I, I went to Circa and I haven't okay. really gambled down there necessarily, okay. but I've been down there. Um, okay. the one thing okay. about Fremont street though is, and yes, whenever you're in a casino, you're going to get like overload, but man, being on Fremont street, it is, it is, that ish is crazy, man. <laughs> it is. It does get a little crazy down there. Um, it, maybe that's your time that you go to the strip is it's fine during the day, but when the lights go out, it gets a little crazy down there. I, I will admit to that. Um, and maybe that's your chance to get out and, and take a cab down to the strip and do something there. Um, I mean, ultimately, stay where you're most comfortable with staying. I'm just saying that with your budget and the games that you want to play, that you mentioned that you want to play, which are good games, you're just not going to find it on the Las Vegas Strip, unfortunately. It really sucks. And I think you you will be stunned when you walk through Four Queens. I mean, you'll be like, wow, where has this been? Uh, that's That was my reaction when I went um, four or five months ago for the first time. I walked through there. I'm like, it's like Vegas came up here and died 30 years ago. Like it, all the old games are in there. You know, the reels are all nice and faded. You can barely see what color the sevens are. I mean, that's what you want, right? Like those are the good games that, you know, don't have the high volatility and they obviously aren't changing the odds on any of those. And so they're playing very good. And that, you know, I've heard that I, I didn't play long enough while I was there at four Queens, but I heard that they're, Players Club is pretty good. I mean, you will get offers pretty quickly with them. So just something to consider. Cool. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, I'm going, the person I'm going with in October, um, she's never been to Vegas. Okay. So, you know, I mean, I'm excited that, you know, we were getting Take her to the strip. Or... Yeah. You want to see the strip if you've never been. Like, that's, exactly. that's the place to go. Yeah. I, I get you. Exactly. So I would kind of like to, to know, like, maybe some good stuff. Like where are the, I mean, I, I heard about Cherry's Jubilee. I swear to God, two days after I got home, <laughs> two days, Mark. Yeah. I was so mad. I was like, like, I could have. <laughs> so see, and then I wouldn't have gotten his rinsed. All right. It, yeah. Look, I, maybe, I, chased, I maybe. chased the balls. I chased the balls, Mark. I chased oh, the no. Dragon Link balls, the Prosperity Link balls. I was sitting at the um, Chandelier Bar with my brother, having a lovely Cosmo at the Cosmo. 
he was having a really nice old fashioned and I could hear those damn dragon link balls. <laughs> and I'm like, and I was like, I was like, oh my God. Mark's going to kill you me. You hear that? He's yeah. like, what? And I said, it's all the damn balls I haven't been getting. And he just looked at me like, what the hell? It was I don't crazy. know what it is about those games, but geez. Uh. <laughs> oh, at the Bellagio, I was playing. Um, the, the oh gosh, not the Buddha guy, the other guy. Oh, I cannot think of. I know which one you're talking about. Century, I don't know. Yeah, Whatever I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I had all the balls but one, man. <laughs> all but one. Yeah, so close it's, to the grand, right? I, I mean, I knew I wasn't. I knew it was, but it had me there for a minute. It had. I me. get it. I'm going to actually then, share something with you guys that mm -hmm. I, I've never said publicly, but I got confirmation on it. And mm -hmm. this is really cool about those lightning links and the dragon links and all that when you're collecting the balls. There is actually a way to tell before the bonus even starts if you're going to have a chance at getting the grand or not before the balls even start falling. Oh, wow. And here's how you tell. Yeah, here's how you tell because I talked to the programmer of this. So the way it works is that one of those – if you notice that when all the when you press the spin button, all the balls are, you know, spinning around trying to land. If you notice that one of the squares on there doesn't have any balls filling it when it's rolling around, you're not going to get the grand. But what they do is they move that spot around on every spin. So you can't just watch like the bottom right corner and you say, hi, I see that that one's not showing anything. And then on the next spin, it does. It's because that square has moved to another spot, another real spot. So the way you can do this is watch somebody play the lightning. You go on YouTube or whatever and look and watch somebody play the lightning link or dragon link, any of those collecting, and look for that square, and you will see it move around every time they spin. And that's a sure way to tell you're not going to get the grand. Even if you get all 14, it's going to end up being that one that's left that's not going to have – it show up at all. So, I mean, it's in there, but it's like, it's like a one in 100,000 chance, you know, it's huge on that last spin. But if you notice it early on that all of the little squares have balls in it, then you actually have a pretty good chance of getting the grant. So there's something to look out for. It's, it's really cool. I had to test it. Cause I, I was like, it makes sense mathematically. Mm -hmm. um, but I went and watched a bunch of YouTube videos and sure enough, you see that square moving around every spin. Well, there's just I, nothing you know, it. I want to say I've noticed that, but I don't think I ever put it together. Right. That yeah. Makes yeah. Sense. It makes sense. Because I didn't think about it. I thought, well, they can't move the reels around because it, 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 essentially what it is is 15 different reels, um, like spinning reels, mm -hmm. which is each square. And I thought, well, they're not going to move those around. But sure enough, they do. They do move it around because if they don't, then people will just notice that they'll just look at it and say, yeah, I'm not going to get it. They wanted to kind of randomize it a little bit so people can't spot it. But sure enough, that's the, you can look at it and see. And it, it, it works for, it doesn't work for all of the games. It works for all the, the ones that. All the aristocrat ones. The, yeah. The aristocrat ones, but every, every company does their little hold and spin feature differently. So you can't like if IGT has one, they're going to do it differently. Ainsworth does it differently, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it's really aristocrat, but. It's pretty funny to see that. And so I, now I can call it before people even get to the last spin. <laughs> You're not getting anything. <laughs> um, yeah, I was yeah, watching, so, I was no, watching Ruby Slots and she was, she was playing. I, and I really like her, her and her husband, because mm -hmm. there are times that they get rinsed. And you see it? Yeah. And yeah, they so show really, the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, they show the whole thing. Now, sometimes some of the stuff that they, and I know they're kidding a lot of times, but it's kind of like, it's not hot. It's not cold, <laughs> really, it's not nothing, you know, but it's fine. I get it. You get yeah. into it and whatever, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, but so I like, I like watching them and I saw that actually they had, were down to the one thing and that one wasn't showing anything. I'm like, yeah, you're not getting that. It's yeah. Not you're not getting that. that. Yeah. Um, well, I need to clarify it because it's, it's still in there. Um, like the, there's not, such a thing where they don't have the ball in there. It's just mm -hmm. that it's like one in 100,000 or whatever the number is. It's huge. 
And right. so a full real spin, you may not see it. It's still yeah. in there. No, I, yeah. no, I understand what you're so, saying. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But if yeah, you, it's just, you will notice you it as it moves spinning. around, you might see it fly by, you know, right. as it's moving around. But you will notice that there is a square that is curiously absent of any ball most of the mm -hmm. time. And that's the one. <laughs> yeah, um, I got you. But yeah, hard. I mean, in, in Vegas, that that trip, yeah, I mean, I didn't get totally rinsed, but I got fairly rinsed. And part of that was, um, you know, I couldn't find stuff that I wanted to play. So I did play the stuff that you probably shouldn't. I, You know what? I that I fell for that same thing. I mean, that's that's what I was dealing with at Park MGM. You heard the story. I got so freaking mad at the top dollar grand that mm -hmm. I just started going reckless and playing stuff that I would never play. I, I was sitting at a stupid Wheel of Fortune nine line game. Why? Why am I playing it? I have no idea. You know, like it was is because I was bored. I wasn't winning anything on top dollar grand. So I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'll just play this one. You know, there it's a slot machine. Right. And that and was just a poor decision. You know, and it's and it's I hard. Probably, Go ahead. I probably didn't look at it as because most of it was like money I'd won from WinStar. I didn't really sure, think of yeah. it as my money. Changes exactly. your mentality, yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, like, we were walking through Aria, maybe. Uh, I don't remember where we were, but one of them, and the, you know, one of those big pig things, you got the the, the big pig, and he's sitting there, and he, they've got different versions. They've got him, like, as a from Rome. They've got him from Egypt. They've right. got all this, yeah. I don't remember, like, I don't remember which one that one is. But my Pigs brother's like, the new Look, dragons. I, Huh? I said pigs are the new dragons. Yes, they are. Or there's like, <laughs> look, that pig's really big. We should try it. The firecrackers are all the way up at the top. <laughs> hey, I got my first quote unquote jackpot. Not really a jackpot. This was when I really didn't understand, but it said jackpot. It was a mini jackpot. But to me, that was a jackpot yeah. in February at the playing at the link on the firecrackers. I kind the of enjoyed the firecrackers. <laughs> Um, yeah. there, oh, there is one, oh, I can't remember if it's a triple diamond or a double diamond. You may know which machine I'm talking about. It's at New York, New York. It's just outside the bathrooms that are over by the escalator. The, 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 I don't know. There's like four escalators there that go yeah. up to um, where the Hershey store is and all of that. Oh, yes. Yes. So there's like a bank of a bunch of stuff, but there's just one double diamond, triple diamond. I couldn't get anything to save my life on that thing. Oh no. My daughter and I were joking. We were like, you know, rub the knob, all this stuff. <laughs> around and that made it really fun, but yeah, no, yeah, nothing, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's, I I've gotten to the point now and I, I, I really am not liking single line games anymore because of that. Like it just, I know the long-term goal and the long-term plan, it's actually better to stick with those, you know, even if you're just playing one credit instead of three or two, but my sweet spot has to be the five line versions of those games just because it, it just hits more frequently just because you have more coverage on the lines and just, it, it makes you feel like you're accomplishing something and not getting a bunch of dead spins, which is what you get on single line games. And I, it's but true. I don't like nine line. Nine line's a little bit too much. It's like five line is just like the sweet spot for me. But again, those are just hard to find. You know, it's they not, are. it's not something that everybody has. Um, and on that note, actually, um, do you have any plans to go up to WinStar at all? Like before you go to Vegas? I mean, look, I'd, I'd love to, to go to Winstar and it, it, like I went to Winstar after we got back, but that's because they I had $50 in free play. Okay. Okay. It takes about an hour to get to Winstar from here ish. Right. Okay. It's not that far. I, and now I've never been to Choctaw, which takes a little bit longer. Right. Right. Yeah. Cause I'm, Same I'm in, North, I'm in, <laughs> I'm in North Texas, like almost to Oklahoma, but I'm like, I'm like between, I'm between like Denton and McKinney. Gotcha. Off of okay. 380. Yeah. So I could get to either one fairly easily. I don't necessarily have a plan to go to Windstar. The last time I went, I think I, I took like, 
250 had fifty dollars in free play. I think I lost about a hundred bucks. It wasn't okay. like super crazy. Okay, and I tried those bingo machines. I did not like them. Oh no! You knew where I was going. <laughs> like, what was it? Lucky Ducky? Yeah, no, yeah. I wasn't fond of Lucky Ducky. Oh. Um, he, oh, me no. and him didn't get along, and I didn't get along with Ruby either. Oh um, no! <laughs> hey, oh, it no. happens. Thunder yeah. Cash, Thunder Cash has always been the one so far that's been good to me. I even found a Mustang Money two, maybe, or maybe it was just Mustang Money. I don't know. Um, there was like near where the the back part is where it goes. I think it's going towards Lucas Oil. I don't know where you have to go down that hallway. Um, oh, the non-smoking room. Yeah. At the end. Yes, the one at the yeah. end. The wind way far back. Talking. Yeah, just I outside know. of there, I think I found. I it. know exactly where those are. Yeah, there's three of them. There's mm -hmm. a Enforcer, Mustang Money, and there was one other one. I don't remember, but I know what you're talking about. And I did okay Recorded. there. Yes, I did okay there. I did okay with Thunder Cash. Um, I did play um, Rich and Wild, and it was okay. eh, it was it. Eh. Um, yeah. Top dollar, top dollar didn't like me. Didn't like me that time. Um, and I haven't, honestly, I haven't gone back to pinball because I, I don't know, just. <laughs> That's one of those you got to hit it and quit it. Like it, it's because the bonus frequency on that is still pretty high. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the bonus rounds are good. I mean, they usually average between two and 300 credits, but what's the trade off? It takes a long time to get the bonus, right? Right. Um, but I, I've had similar experiences there with the top dollar um, in pinballs. Honestly. Oh, no. hold on. I am so okay. sorry. No, that's Here all right. My we can edit that out. Don't worry about it. I bet my son took a shower. Hold on. <laughs> I'm coming, Mark. No, you're good. I am so sorry. Don't apologize. It's fine. We're not live. It don't matter. <laughs> did, you ever, uh, did you ever see that live show where uh, uh, I had to evacuate? Uh, where was I? MGM Grand. No. <laughs> on uh, Cowboy Slot. That. Yeah. It, it just started. It seemed to always happen when I was going live there. But no, the alarm started going off and they were saying to evacuate the building. I had to take the stairs 35 flights down. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. And then by the time we reached the bottom, we're like, oh, false alarm. You can go back of up. Of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Right. No, there's a smoke detector like right outside his bathroom and he oh. has to take a shower like you know scalding hot so and steam and, yeah know. right yeah so it's like oh my gosh i still remember yeah. our first house they put the smoke detector in the kitchen like not <laughs> far away from the stove and it was just like unbelievable i i, I mean we had a broomstick right there because every single time <laughs> we start cooking we had to push it it's ridiculous it happens <laughs> Um, let's see, where were we? Okay. Yeah. Bingo machines didn't do you well. Ruby didn't do you well. Um, no, I mean, I'd be willing to try it, but I would, um, try the, did you play the dollars or the quarters? Which ones did you try? I played the quarters, the quarters. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Um, try the, the quarter five lines. Those are, she's still my favorite there. Um, if you're in the non-smoking in the room, non-smoking room, mm -hmm. um, they're kind of in the as you're walking into the room and they're in the back right corner. Um, there's some dragon links back there. Or don't go that far, but um, a little bit further back, there's there's a nice bank of like ten of them. Uh, I mean, the five line quarters. So look, if I have a little bit of money extra or whatever, I might go play some dragon link. But I have a really good way. <laughs> I have a really good way of trying to keep myself without actual money of playing those types of games. Right. I play like my Vegas. I play all of that stuff. Yes. Once I did put maybe five or 10 bucks in it, but I haven't done that since. And I've been able to, you know, like goldfish, all the different ones, right. even, even drag, even um, game of Thrones. And I can, you know, look, if I get, to, if I get washed, then I just let my kind of credits build up or whatever. And then, yeah. But that's where I play most of those games. There was a, I was just looking it up. There's a website. 
Oh man, I wish I could find this. Let me find it real quick, and then I'll I'll just edit this. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. I think it's VegasSlots.com. Let me see. No, that's not it. Do you remember? I don't know if you remember, but back in the day, so like twenty years ago, when I first took my mom to Vegas. MGM had, I mean, yeah, they've got my Vegas now and my Konami or whatever that links and you can like get comps or whatever, but mm -hmm. they used to have one, um, that was, you know, it was like completely free and you could just play it on their website. I think you could only play so long every day or something like that. Cause I got like, like two for one for the steakhouse at treasure Island and all of that. Kind oh, of stuff. that's you, nice. You could yeah. Stuff, you could get stuff pretty pretty quick and pretty decent on that one. I mean, my Vegas is, is fine, but it seems like, so like when I went in February, apparently it was president's day weekend. I couldn't use squat. I, the only thing that I was able <laughs> to use was the buy one, get one for the monorail, which actually was awesome. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. And then when we went in October, it was right after the, um, the hack. So right. they were like, Oh yeah, you can't use this. You can't use that. And I was just like, Ugh, it was a pain. Anyway, um, I did find it. Um, it's mm. called oh, okay. um, VegasSlotsOnline.com. Okay. Uh, there's no comps or anything, but they're free. Um, and they have all the IGT games in there. They even have Ainsworth. They've got Thundercash. Um, they've got all those Mustang Money. Okay. I'll have to look at that um, one. Aristocrat. And the nice thing about this is that, I mean, you just go on your browser and play and then when you're done you run out of credits you just refresh the page and you got all your credits back again so there's no like daily limit or anything like that but when i want to get my thunder cash fix in there I, I go and play it on there um, but they've got a big big selection and they're and they're not like the knockoffs either these are like the real invaders of the planet moolah is on here triple red I that, like, three games. goldfish wolf run wheel of fortunes um a lot of the ones that if you've ever downloaded the double uh double down casino app on your phone not that one uh, yeah they they have all those igt style games in there so it's a lot of fun it's it's definitely worth checking out if yeah, any I mean, time i get on like a boring meeting or something i just get on there and start playing <laughs> guilty I, yeah. may, I, may, I may have to i may have to do that i mean i work from home so i my yeah my i do too so <laughs> it's my personal laptop right those here. things right <laughs> yeah but yeah i mean but yeah that's where i that's where i get my uh my fix on on all of those types of games i mean yeah. most of the time yeah and i tra chase those ladies with the pretty hair and the prosperity link and they just would not <laughs> they would not give me their orbs to save yeah. my life and I'm just like, you know, and I talked nice to her too, told her how beautiful she was, how great her hair was. I wish yeah, that worked, nothing. you know. I wish nothing. that worked. Because I, I talked nice, too. I talked nice to top dollar grand, and then I talked dirty to it. It didn't make any difference. It treated me bad both times. <laughs> yeah, so that's it happens. It, it, happens. it, it does. <laughs> and it doesn't like, you know, like Dave says, you know, you have to be prepared that it's money that it's like it's okay if you set it on fire. I'm not oh, yeah. setting it on fire. Yes. I don't get to have as much fun of just like sitting there with like 20 bucks and going through it for four hours. But, yeah. you know, it's it's still fun. And, you know, as long I, as you're getting the entertainment value out of it and you're not leaving disgruntled and upset at yourself, then there's no problem. You know, and if you stick to all the rules and, you know, you just you stay strong. I mean, that's that's probably the hardest thing. But if you just try to remember it's entertainment. And if I'm not having fun, I need to stop. Um, I think that's probably one of the biggest lessons is one, especially I need to learn is that if I'm not having fun and I'm not winning anything, I just need to stop and just cut my losses before it gets worse, you know? Um, Cause it wasn't fun. I mean, just like what I was going through. I mean, I was not there for entertainment at all. At that point, I was there to recoup my losses and that is the wrong mindset to be going into the casino with, uh, or even, Maybe you don't go in that way. Most of us don't go yeah. in that way. But after a couple of hours of being in there, you know, suddenly we start thinking that way. And that's when you got to like just cut it and leave. So I don't think you have any issues there. I think I think your biggest challenge is always going to be trying to find the games that, that give you the most potential of a return um, based on where you are. I think that's 
really what I've gathered out of this. Um, I think you're, you're pretty strict with your budget. I didn't hear anything about, you know, where you feel like you can't control it and things like that. So I'm going to assume everything's good there. Uh, I mean, we the all have bad thing, days. So. Oh, for sure. But the biggest thing for me that uh, prevents me from using the ATM, I hate fees. I hate ATM yeah. fees and I know I'm going to pay them. It's like the one time that I did do it. I was so ticked off at myself for like the rest of the time because for 40 <laughs> bucks, I don't know. I think I spent $7 in fees and I'm like, yeah. really, really? Why? Yeah. Just for what? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, I get you. That's a good thing. I hope it stays there. I hope you keep feeling that. <laughs> Let me put it that way. Yes, um, for sure. If that's your barrier, that's your barrier. That's a good one. It's, it's, it's pretty much a brick wall. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. It's even better, right? <laughs> I'm not saying uh, that the brick wall couldn't be taken down, but it's not going to be <laughs> taken down by that wolf and huff and buff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that stupid game. And the funny it's thing is about, about that is that, God, it is so much fun to play. I mean, I love it. I'm so glad I was able to get it here because I can play anytime I want. But, I mean, if you want – if you guys don't believe us when we keep talking about how bad that game is, watch Vegas Matt play it and get wrecked every oh time God. he plays that game. I mean, he puts twenty, thirty thousand, forty thousand dollars to that thing, and it's just, I won't even play it with my not real money. On I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but it's not. It, it, that's the way the game was designed. Like the game was designed that way to be. And that's the dangerous thing. I'm not going to go into a big rant about it, but that's the dangerous thing with what, and we're going to be doing a video on this soon about, you know, watching YouTubers that are out there or anywhere, Instagram, TikTok, it's all over the place where they're just showing you short clips of the wins, like the gigantic, Hey, I got the mansion bonus and I got, mm -hmm. you know, 180 times my bet back. And it's like, but you're not seeing the real aspect of that machine. Yeah, sure. If you get the bonus round, you can celebrate because they're usually pretty good. Not always, but usually pretty good. Um, but getting there can be just brutal sometimes. And I know that mm -hmm. I think I did a live stream on my home slots channel of playing uh, more huff and puff. And I think I was playing a hundred dollars a spin or something crazy like that. But I literally put through close to 50,000 before I got a bonus. That's fifty thousand dollars on a hundred dollars. That's a lot of spins before I got the bonus. And guess what? The bonus did not even come close to getting my money back. You know, and that's that's what you should expect out of games like that. And it's mm -hmm. you're at least doing the smart thing that you've number one, you've listened to us, and you've also identified that you know low volatility games. Now Thunder Cash is kind of in the middle, so there are going to be times where it's going to burn you. I, I will promise you that. Um, but it's still pretty good out of all the Ainsworth games. It's still the best one, in my opinion, to play um, because the other ones are a little bit even higher in volatility and you should probably avoid those. But, you know, I still think and I still want you to try those bingo games out again because I think that if you do give it a couple of more tries, I think you will be surprised at how they play and how they feel um, because they very much are like playing double diamond. I know you didn't have a good <laughs> session with double diamond either, but I, I'm talking about overall long-term uh, returns. I've always done the best at WinStar playing those games. Um, even when I break away and play pinball and top dollar and thunder cash overall, all things considered the, you know, 15 or so times I've been to WinStar in the last year, those have always been consistently reliable for me. Um, again, it's still short term. I can't really make a huge determination off of right. that. But all things considered, I think I can confidently say those are the best ones to play, you know, inside of WinStar, at least for budget building and getting started. You know, start with those. They are boring. A lot of people don't like the stupid bells. I totally get that. Um, but I still think this probably in WinStar anyway, it's the best to start out with. And then you can kind of graduate to the Thunder Caches and the even the Dragon Links. If you want to play those, fine. But do it off of the winnings that you got off of the stupid bingo machines that nobody wants to yeah. play. <laughs> right. I mean, they, I, think if you are guys are, I think if you guys are going to go um, like back to Windstar, which I'm sure I'm sure you will. or you Yeah, know, we will be. Both you and Dave or whatever. Yep. You know, I would, I would probably like, I don't know midweek if I could do it, but if it was like on a weekend, you know, or okay. like a, 
fr- or like during the evening or something, I I would I would well, definitely. I do uh, know, um, and I can say this here. Um, it's probably it, it, you may not be able to make it because it's literally the week after Christmas. Um, but I think we're going to be there on maybe the twenty seventh, which is the Wednesday after Christmas. Um, <laughs> I'm off work. That? So I'm off work. So oh, good. Oh, we would love so to I see you up it. there. That would be so much fun. Um, yeah, uh, I think that's what we're planning on going because I'm off of work. Jody's off of work. Dave's off of work. It's the perfect time. It's the perfect time to go. So I think that's when we're going to go up there is uh, be there the 27th. Uh, and we'll okay. be there all day, I think. I think we'll stay there. We'll probably go up uh, Tuesday night and stay and then also stay Wednesday night uh, just so we can have the full day. And uh, yeah, Liz, listen, if you can come up there, that'd be great. You don't Don't bring a big budget like you don't. I know it's not you weren't planning it and, and expensing it and all that stuff, but you know, just come say hi and you know maybe you got some free play you can use. You never know. Oh, I'm sure I do. I I think I'm looking at like thirty five bucks in free play or whatever. Yeah. Um, and I and see and like some of the money that I took out like to take to Vegas that I didn't lose and that I didn't lose whenever I went to Windstar, it's still sitting there for like. <laughs> that purpose. So, right, you know, right. I don't, I, I don't necessarily have to budget for it. It hasn't like technically okay. made it to my account. So therefore I, well, this, that's what I, it's I don't want to, you know, it's just one of those things. It's like, I would love it if you come, but don't overextend yourself to come. That's oh, all. Absolutely. I absolutely. And I, I may bring, I may bring my friend Kim if she, if she can come. Oh, great. Yeah, see. absolutely. She's never been to Vegas. She's never gambled. She's never done anything. So she oh, has. Perfect. Made, so when is she going to do this interview? I, I told her, <laughs> I told her actually, she You're wants on to, the hook. You're next. She wants to watch. And I was like, no, you need to go on with them. Cause no, you're we'll next. Talk you through what you I do. will not do another one until you get on. <laughs> we want to talk to you. <laughs> No, in I all will, serious, I will let her know. Yeah, no, in all serious, like we're, we're trying to get a big eclectic mix here. Like uh, we we've got a lot of people that have already followed us and are doing a good job, which is great. But we need to find the people like Diane who have never been before. And by the way, I still need to do the follow up interview with her. Um, we we're looking for people that maybe have been out of gambling for a while and want to get back into it. Never gambled before. Um, also, people that have had problems like myself and want to come clean and, and talk it out. Like sometimes this is good. Like community, we have a great community here on the channel and I know everybody will chime in and help you out. So if you want to be part of the interview, um, we, we want to talk to anybody, even if you're not a slots player, if you're a poker player or a, a blackjack table games player, we want to talk to you too. Cause all gamblers are the same. It's just their device that they decide to play is different. You know, that's it. Yeah. So but anyway, yeah, if you guys want to uh, join in, just uh, make sure you send us an email at uh, gamblesmartgamblesafe at gmail.com. And uh, Liz, I think we're going to wrap up here, but thank you so much for being on the on the uh, interview. Really do appreciate it. And I really do hope to see you. That would be so much fun if you can come up to uh, Windstar. We will definitely be announcing it soon, so we'll get it all nailed down. So people awesome. can join us. Sounds, sounds great. All right. Well, thank you so much, uh, Liz. Really do appreciate it. And remember, gamble smart. Gamble safe. All right. Take care. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mark.